I usually start most of my songs with a melody. Um, I'll sit at the piano and play a few chords and kind of sing whatever until something kind of lands. Sometimes it's a word um, that often I don't hear in the moment, but I'll record everything and then I'll listen back, usually in the car. And I'll often hear things that I didn't even know that I did. Um, and usually it's word and I'll go, okay, cool. Like, what does that word mean? And I'll think about it. Sometimes it can be a, the process of, you know, a, a day or often I can listen back a year later and be like, oh wow, okay, I'm gonna unpack that. I often will try and find something that's real to me, um, something that I'm going through or something I'm unpacking when it comes to my relationship with God. And the cool thing about being in um, our church is that you have this community of people, you're hearing their stories, you're hearing what people are going through collectively, we're experiencing um, a move of God, but then also personally. The song isn't always written in the, the time that it was written. I think it's allowing yourself to be a sponge and be perceptive to things um, outside of sitting at a piano. I love writing with other people. I think co-writing for me is everything. I think when you start writing a song, one of the tendencies that you have is to like hold on to things really tightly and be scared that you know if you share your best idea that maybe if the person that you're writing with doesn't like it that they might pull it and change it but the truth is is like there's always going to be another song and um, I think there's no shortage of melodies or thoughts or themes or words um, especially when it comes to the things of God like there's no shortage to what we can say and sing and so I think the biggest thing for me is being learned to be like learning to be open-handed and just be up for whatever direction the song's going to go in and you know sometimes in the moment it might feel uncomfortable that you, you're writing something that you don't feel like you wanted to write or what you plan to write but you know approaching a song like it's the last song you're ever going to write um, is cool in one sense but I think it also limits um, the song in the moment. Try writing with people that you would never think um, to write with and so for me that might look like me writing with somebody who doesn't even write songs but writes poems. What I naturally love to do when I write songs is, is melodies and when it comes to the lyrics um, it's not it's probably the harder part of writing songs and so often writing with somebody who maybe is a million times better than me at words um, is the best way. Lyrics are hardest when you don't know what to say and when you know what to say I think writing lyrics is the the best part of the process. I think for me, like when it comes to church writing, I often lean on people around me to make sure that what I'm saying is correct, um, what I'm saying is theologically accurate. You have to write something that's real and whether people know it or not, in the subconscious, I think every, everyone can recognize when something feels genuine and when it doesn't. The way I know if I've stumbled upon something that I feel is significant um, to me is when I find myself wanting to listen to the memo again and again, or I think often there'll be a melody that I'll, every time I sit down at the piano, I'll you know, naturally play it without even thinking about it. And I think often that is, you know, I, I want to believe that that's God kind of like knocking to be like, just finish the idea. It's harder to know when to give up on things, but I, th I think just finish the song idea, just get it done. And for a long time, I never really did that. I would just, it would get too hard and I would just stop and there'd be all these half written ideas. The problem that I find when you do that is that you often, it's not finished in your mind, so it just builds up this mess. And so every time you go to write a song, you accidentally pull from these previous ideas. I feel like it is good to like just close the door on a song. And sometimes that means like sending songs to people and being open with getting feedback. But I think finishing the song, like whether it be a verse and a chorus, getting some sort of scratch and just going, okay, great, that is that is what it is, and I'm gonna move on. One of the things that I'm really aware of now is like knowing when I'm not, I don't have anything to say and when I feel like dry, maybe. Um, and when that happens, I kind of know, okay, I'm not gonna try and push anything out. <laughs> and so I, need, I know I need to like go off and live a little bit and read and kind of absorb. I think the best songwriters often are every time someone's telling them something or you know anything about their life, they're taking it in so deeply that it can't help but come out I'm um, in a song. Write all the time, be like constantly writing. I think don't be afraid of asking for feedback. Just be honest and be yourself. I think everybody, um, I think the moment you're trying to write like somebody else or sound like somebody else, you miss the mark. And so I think coming back to why is it that you need to be a songwriter? There's millions of songwriters out there. Why is it that you need to be one? And I do think that everyone should be if they want to be one. But it's finding what's going to make you distinctive and what's going to be uh, the most honest representation of you. And when you find that, I think the songs will just naturally flow.